to Terrence kind of thing. Doesn't matter what you bring. Come and watch him do his thing. Cause it's a Terrence kind of thing. Hey guys, hey, what's up? Welcome back to It's a Terrence Kind of Thing. Okay, first and foremost, I'd like to say shout out to all my channel members, Tease, Awesome Butterflies. Y'all know I love you so very much. Thank y'all for all of your continued support. Also, I'd like to say thank you guys for coming back, the subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> that means a lot. Um, also, you know, if you're just viewing the channel and you don't know if you want to subscribe or not, I appreciate the view. I really do. Um, and please um, give a, give me a thumbs up and share me out. This video, I'm just going to talk about uh, a little bit about what I've been going through. Um, and hopefully it encourages, it inspires, it motivates, it uplifts you know you in some kind of way or another <laughs> anyway 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 yeah so i've been sharing things on my community i've gone um i've gone live and i've talked about a couple of things but right now as you guys can see i'm driving i'm on my way to oxford maine casino and hotel okay so i'm not really going to like gamble i mean i'm, I'm gonna end up gambling but <laughs> but i'm really just going there um because i do have some uh, quite a few nights uh, at the hotel, so uh, that's that's a blessing in this um, in this time of my life at the moment. Um, so, what you guys know, um, I I've been going through a lot, you know, with the job and everything and stuff. Whatever, I've just been like, I think for me, um, definitely stressing about things that some things are out of my are out of my um, out of my control and. I just need to like let go and let God and that's what I've been doing um, and a part of that has been this weekend we've had a snowstorm that just kind of came out you know I, you know just kind of came out of nowhere and um, it rained and it created a lot, lots of ice so because of the ice and all the rain it actually affected me <clears throat> in a crazy interesting way because we've had some snowstorms uh, this year and yeah, the lights never went off, but the lights went off It got dark you guys. It got really really dark <laughs> So with that being said, you know lost power. There was a massive power outage. A lot of people have lost power um, As I'm speaking right now, some people still don't have power, which is kind of like scary, right? But you know um, Life goes on right you know adversity you know life is filled with adversity and we must keep going don't stop can't stop won't stop we got to keep going we have to um and that's just it's it's just what we're gonna have to do and so hopefully as you guys listen to me as you watch me drive to the casino hopefully you guys um understand that you know it, it it's not it's not gonna stop adversity and and and, and things in life <sighs> Sometimes they're gonna be bittersweet, they're gonna be absolutely amazing, and it's gonna be a little stressful, but we gotta keep going. Don't stop, can't stop, won't stop. I keep saying that, and this is the reason why. Because if if I allowed for the power outage to completely stress me out, you know, um, obviously I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to clean out my entire refrigerator because I did grocery shop and unfortunately all my food is ruined but you know what i have my life there is people um out there that are um were a part of accidents some people have lost their lives and it's unfortunate but i thank god that i have my life i thank god that i'm able to drive like i said to the casino um and stay at the hotel and have you know lights and um hot water and you know just a a nice comfortable bed to you know lay in so with all that being said no matter all the crazy things that really do happen I I just I thank God I thank God completely completely so I hope you guys understand that um, some things are inevitable you know uh, and some things we can't control but what like what I would want you to take away from this video is the fact that I'm controlling to stay calm in this situation. I'm controlling um, my emotions. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get upset. I'm not gonna like go like ballistic because oh my gosh, all my food and and I can't get in contact with people and and this isn't fair. And I demand great customer service. Now I do want some good. I want great customer service, but obviously right now I'm not getting that. But again, that's another 
Um, it's, it's, it's another situation that's out of my control. I'm not going to, I don't want to say poke the bear, but I'm not going to, you know, deal with the things that I know I'm not going to get. I'm not going to get the response that I want, so I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to approach that. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, why do we deal with this? Why do we know, we know the outcome to certain things. We know what's going to be the outcome, but yet and still, we still, we still deal with things. We still deal with people. We know we're not going to get, you know, the recognition or the apologies or the acknowledgement, but we still deal with things in life. We got to stop doing that because, again, we create the stress for ourselves. We create that. We create the frustration for ourselves. So I want to I want to. <laughs> I want to control that, you know. I want to if I if I have the power to control it, I want to control the amount of stress that I'm having to endure and you know the headache. So as of right now, like I said, let me just pack up. Let me just go to the casino for a few days. Um, and like I said, I pray to God the lights come back on. And when I do get back to the room, I will just um, I will cross that bridge. You know, when I when it does when it when it when it comes. You know, I'm not gonna stress like I said about the things that are out of my control. I just I'm just not gonna do that. Like I said, I'm I'm learning as I as I continue to grow and live. And this is something that the old me would not be this calm. Let me just tell you guys this. But right now. I, yeah, definitely. I have been through a lot of things in life, and I just know that it could always be worse. And I hope and pray that, you know, as you guys watch this, that you can take away that, you know, your situation right now does not define you. And, and let me just tell you this. I'm not trying to scare you, but it, you could be in a worse situation. You could be, well, we could be unalive, okay? <laughs> All right? Not, not trying to hurt anybody or stress anybody out, but we could we could not be of this world and i thank god that i am here i thank god that you guys are here i thank god for their opportunity to even upload this video and hopefully inspire other people um like i said it's just been such a it's been such a stressful a stressful week with work um i feel like there could be better communication it could be better teamwork oh my gosh you know there is it's always improvement for that and that has been something that has really been kind of you know getting to me and on top of that it's just been some sad things going on like you know within my family and um just within life in general and so to to top this off with a crazy winter storm you know that's pretty much in spring it's just been like oh you know the I don't want to say the icing on the cake because I'm not eating cake and I'm, I'm for sure not eating icing. <laughs> it's just been something to just take in consideration. Like, um, there are some things that are just going to be out of our control. I keep talking about adversity. And like we said, um, like I said, and I told you guys before, life is filled with it. But what, 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 what should we do? Should we stop? Should we, should we just be aggravated and, and start to, um, become combative and negative and just stop living no we got to keep living we got to keep going um i still got to go to work um i'm actually on call as we speak and i'm going 40 minutes out of the way and i might i might get called in i got to drive back to portland maine from oxford and it just is what it is you know like again i'm i'm doing the the most that i can do and the best that i can do so i'm going to communicate with my management um, with the facility, I'm going to communicate with my travel company. I'm going to communicate, obviously, with my family. I always communicate with my family. Um, I'm going to take one day at a time. <laughs> I'm going to breathe. Okay, if that means to count to one, uh, one million, I will do just that. Do whatever you have to do, okay, to take control of your life in the situation that you are involved in. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to make things more stressful than they already are okay you really don't i think it's important to understand that you actually do have more control over your life than you think you do and i would like i said i hope by watching this video you guys would you you see that and you realize that you really do have more control um i'm gonna say it again i can't stop saying that life is filled with adversity it's unpredictable you guys it is so unpredictable but it does not mean it doesn't mean to throw the towel in and give up. Do not give up on yourself. Okay? 
I don't want you to give up on yourself. I want you to keep going. I think it's very important for you guys to do that. And and even if it means to watch me keep going, because Lord knows I ain't got all the money in the world, okay? I don't think I got all the knowledge in the world, okay? I just don't. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going, all right? But I'm telling you guys, I'm going to keep the faith. I'm going to keep positive. And I know that God is going to continue to make a way. He's not going to put too much on me that I can't bear. And that goes for you as well. Okay? So when you are dealing with adversity, when you're dealing with life situations and circumstances, and you don't know what to do or who to call or or how to just live, you know what? Just try your best to just pray. That's, that's all I can say. Just try your best to pray. Just start talking. You know, there's no right or wrong way if you ask me. Well, there's no there's no wrong way if you ask me. I feel like God knows our hearts. And if we just even just talk and say if we have a conversation, I think he would be pleased with that. That's just my opinion. But, you know, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I'm just someone who's just trying to live life to the best of my ability and do right. And I don't understand why these things are happening, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna say, oh my gosh, it keeps happening to me, I'm so angry. No, no, because it's someone that always has it way, way worse than you. I know it's someone who's going through so much more than I am. And I'm grateful for, like I said, the opportunity to go to the hotel and, and like I said, have a bed to lay in and just um and just be able to relax like i said guys you know again adversity 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 but it does not mean to give up on yourself and give up on life you keep going okay you put you put your foot to that freaking pedal okay <laughs> and you smash it and you accelerate above and beyond okay i love you guys so much we got this all right thank you guys for watching it's a Terrence kind of thing. It doesn't matter what you bring. Come and watch him do his thing. Cause it's a Terrence kind of thing.